Well, this video is generating a lot of conversation. Philadelphia police are investigating a sledgehammer attack, but detectives are missing a critical piece of information to move forward with this case. Eyewitness News reporter David Spunt is live at police headquarters to tell you about it. David. Jessica, that piece of information, a surprise twist really in this case, authorities, they cannot find a victim. Of course, they're looking for the person that led the attack, according to the video, but right now they want to find a victim. This video is disturbing. Tuesday afternoon in Port Richmond, a silver SUV pulls into this parking lot on Luzerne Street. Behind it, a red truck and a driver who quickly gets out of the truck with a sledgehammer and starts swinging. A passenger in the silver car opens the door and falls out. And in the distance on the right of your screen, you can see the passenger get hit with the sledgehammer. We certainly want to provide assistance and help and justice for what appears to be a victim of a serious crime. Philadelphia Police Department officials called a news conference on Wednesday to find out more about the people in both cars. After the attack, both cars pulled away and eventually disappear. The case is already making headlines across the country and in the United Kingdom, but police can't make an arrest without more information. We spoke to neighbors who were on scene shortly after the attack. Society today is spiraling out of control, I think, and these are some of the results. It's insane, really insane. Uh, no one is safe. The Philadelphia Police Department social media team is actively scanning the internet for clues about the identity of people in both cars. We definitely want to let them know that we're here and if you want to come forward, let us know what happened and, and we'll uh, try to uh, identify who did it. What happened before the camera started rolling on that surveillance video? Well, we don't know the answer to that. Authorities are trying to find out that information. If you have anything, give police a call. You can always remain anonymous. Reporting live at police headquarters, David Spunt, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.